Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to edit Google Chrome shortcuts. That's right, Google Chrome creates shortcuts for you for websites you go to often. Um, so this is actually going to show you where those shortcuts are and how you can edit them. Now before we keep going, please hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the notification bell and the subscription so you don't miss out on any other how-to videos we come out with. I try to come out with one a week. Sometimes you get lucky and I get two out a week, but I, I, we write articles too, so you can go check out our davescomputertips.com. That's where we have a lot of our how-to articles, and then we do the YouTube um, channel for the videos, and I try to create as many as I can. So please, you know, help us out, share these videos, like these videos, and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So let's get into how to edit these Chrome shortcuts. So the first thing you want to do is obviously open up Google Chrome, which I already have open, obviously. Then we want to go to, so basically you want to start with, you want to go to the plus sign. So you have all these tabs open, which I have many. I have a lot more normally. And then if you go right to the end, you'll see the plus sign. So let's click on that. That's the new tab screen. That's what we're looking for. So we click on that, and this is your new tab screen. So this actually, as you can see right before the search, if you do not see the search box here, it probably doesn't matter because they're still going to show you all this. You can just click on the screen, and it will pop up. It's That's the way it works for me. So hopefully it works that way for you. So here's your Google Chrome shortcuts we're going to edit. Very simple. Now, I have mine set up with space in the background, so it makes it easier to see. So what you want to do is you want to go to one of... First thing we're going to do is go to one of the shortcuts we want to edit. Now, as you can see, when you hover over the shortcut, three little dots appear on the side, um, the vertical ones. You want to click on that. And here is where you can edit your shortcut. Or remove the shortcut altogether. If you don't want the shortcut on your shortcut list anymore, just remove it. But you can ed edit, so let's click on edit. And here it is. So you can edit the name of the shortcut, which is kind of nice, because if you don't like the title, you can name it the way you want to. And the URL probably won't change, because it's the shortcut. Unless you want to change where it, direct, where it goes, you could do it that way. You can change it right here. But once you're done in this section, you just hit done. And now you've edited your shortcut. So you can do that with any of these. Now, you can also rearrange these, which is kind of cool. So if we wanted to take this guy and move him over there, right? So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, and I can drag him to any place I want and let go. And there you go. Now you can rearrange this area any way you want all the shortcuts. Now, the next tip I'm giving you is how to add a shortcut. It's probably pretty simple to see that if you go to the very end, it says add shortcut. Let's add one. We'll make something up. So let's add, just, it's going to be Amazon. We're going to say Amazon. We're going to name it. You can name it anything you want. Oh, I didn't even spell Amazon right. Wow. I, would, I obviously need to learn to spell. All right. So, and then right here, uh, we'll just say www.amazon.com. And you can always copy and paste the um, website you want to use. And then you're going to say done. And now look. There it is. Now, the reason you're not seeing another ad part here is because the maximum it looks like they allow us to have is, is a total of 10 um, shortcuts on your um, new tab screen. So if, if you want to remove one, then you can add another one. So you can have a total of 10. So that's the kind of the maximum. Now, that's how you add one. And to remove one, I'm just going to remove it like we wanted to. So you hover your mouse over that. You click the three dots. Remove. And it's gone. Then you can add that one extra one. So if you didn't see that one, it's probably because you have it maxed out. So if you want to have one, then do it. Now, we're not re restoring. They allow you to restore the default. I'm not worried about that. Now, the other part you can do to take more control of it, you can go to the bottom right corner where the little pencil is. Now, some of you said that you don't see that pencil. Double check that your background is not blocking it out. That might be part of it. Um, depends if you have the most updated Google Chrome. I'm not too sure. Some people said they were having problems with that, but in this video, I'm going to show you how it shows me. So we're going to click on that little pencil, and then it brings this up. And now this is your customize this page area. I want to go to shortcuts. That's what we're working on, so we're going to click on that. And then when you're here, right now I'm under shortcuts are curated by me, so that's the reason I can move them around and stuff. Now, the most visited sites, I you can click on that and change it to shortcuts are suggested based on websites you visit often so that could be a place for you and then you can hide the shortcuts don't show show shortcuts on this page you can totally get rid of them 
I like to manage them. That's the reason I can move them around and I can edit them and stuff. Let's do this one. I'm going to I'm gonna click on this. It's going to mess my whole thing up, but I'm going to show you guys so you can see it. So we're going to say most visited. So I'm going to say done. And see, look what it did. It took away all the ones I don't visit. These ones I visit the most, obviously. So they show up more often. Now if I go back, and I want to go back to shortcuts again, and we're going to click on here. Say done. And look, it puts back what I had. The nice thing is it saves it, so I don't have to worry about it. Now, if you clear your cookies and stuff, that might not. But right now, it does move it back and forth. So it's really simple to go in there and edit Google Chrome shortcuts by just going there. But remember, it's the plus sign at the top here that adds the new tab. So it's called the new tab. And that's where the shortcuts are hiding on your thing. And that's how you customize them. So you can move them around by holding the left down, holding it down to move it to where you want, and let go of the left uh, mouse and button and that's it and then you can add a new one here you can also remove them you can edit them rename them the way you want to or you can go down to the customize area where you can actually change how it um if it suggests them or you curate them so that's it that's how easy it is and that's it guys make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.